The month of June is LGBT Pride Month, and this year is extra special, honouring the 50 years since the Stonewall Uprising that led to the birth of a powerful movement, one that still creates incredible change and awareness all over the world. In this Virtually Rick, we take a closer look at why we should all take pride in this month. So come with me, let's get virtual. And I want you to imagine a modern day country where homosexuality is called a sociopathic personality disturbance, where being gay is a security risk, bans you from working in the government, where you could be arrested or imprisoned just because of who you're attracted to. So, which country comes to mind? Well, this Orwellian vision was in fact the United States of America, and it took less than three nights in June 1969 at New York's Stonewall Inn to create a movement and an uprising that would challenge and change all of these things through years and years of resistance, lobbying and hardship. Fast forward then to 2003, and the US Supreme Court strikes down the homosexual conduct law, which decriminalizes same-sex sexual conduct across the whole of America. Then, in February 2004, then San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom issued same-sex marriage licenses, allowing 4,000 couples to marry. But within months, the California Supreme Court had them nullified. And in 2008, Thanks to Proposition 8, California banned gay marriage. What? Really? I know. It would be five years before Prop 8 was dismissed, with same-sex marriages resuming in 2013. Then the US Supreme Court delivered the final coup de grace on June 26, 2015, securing the right for same-sex couples to marry in all 50 states. All that progress, yet still today, you can be fired for being gay, lesbian or bisexual in 26 states. And that rise is even higher if you're transgender. So the fight continues. Gay Pride then is not just a party or a festival, but much like the rainbow flag that flies and welcomes all, it's a clarion call to resist those who continue to deny others their basic human rights to love whoever they want. Gay Pride is not just a celebration of how much change has been made, but a reminder of how much still needs to be done. As author and Harvard professor Michael Bronsky puts it, there is no point in US history in which same-sex loving people did not play a part in American social life, culture formation, especially in social work and the arts, policy making, or shaping the future of the country. And when you consider Elton John's biopic Rocket Man and the scenes that are being cut and removed for Russian and Chinese audiences today, you can see why it's still so important that we all take such great pride this month in Los Angeles and in all the months in our future.